Eric Burgess here. A roulette wheel has 38 numbers, 1 to 36, 0, and double zero. Half the numbers, 1 to 36, are red. The other half are black. 0, double zero, are green. A ball is rolled, and it falls into one of the 38 slots. The payoffs for $1 are, and so basically uh, when you bet a dollar, if you get red and black, you win another dollar, or you win if you get odd or even and you bet odd or even and it lands on one of the odd or even numbers, you win a dollar. So if you're not familiar with a roulette wheel, it's like uh, it's like a wheel, <laughs> obviously. Uh, it's really more like a big circular table and there's a bunch of numbers and colors on it and you have this ball that rolls around on this table and if it lands on the thing that you bet on, then you win the payoff. So these are the payoffs. So when we're doing um, expected value, because they're going to ask us, right, if you place a $1 bet, find the expected value for, and then we're given, right, find it if you bet red and you bet a dollar and you get red, you know, or what's the expected value if you win or lose, you know, what is it for these various things? So when you, uh, and previously when you paid for uh, a competition, that was deducted from your winnings, right? Because you paid for that competition. But if you uh, bet a dollar, you actually get your dollar back at the end. So if you bet a dollar on zero, for example, and you win, you get your dollar back. So you get your $35 plus you keep your dollar. So you actually make the full $35. You don't lose any money uh, in doing this. You don't make $36 though. That's another mistake that's uh, pretty easy to make because that $1 you had at the start. So you really didn't gain anything. So you either you lose your dollar or you win your $35 and you get to keep your dollar. That's the way to think about it. So, okay, let's just uh, dive right in here. So all of these are going to follow a similar pattern. Right, so let's just do A. Let's do A first. And what I mean by similar pattern is we're going to make a table for each of these to find the expected value. That's the pattern. So we say, okay, we have our probability X and the event X. I said those backwards while I was writing them, but you get my drift. We've got the event here. So that we've got first X is the event that we get red. And so we say, okay, red. And then we have the event that it's not red. So this is going to be our winnings and our losings, right? So if it's red, we win. So what's the payoff? Well, we get we make a dollar. So we make one dollar. If it's not red, we lose our dollar. So we have minus one dollar. So you could write one and minus one. Uh, you keep if you. So you might be saying, isn't this two dollars because you get your dollar back? Well, you you're not making any new money though. So. Uh, in this case, you actually lose money. In this case, you gain money. So we're looking at net gains and losses here. So for the red, how are all the ways we can get red? Well, let's check this out. So first off, our sample space, right? We have 38 numbers. There's 38 spots. So we're, we've got over 38 for everything, over 38. And then we want to know all the red numbers. So we say half the numbers, 1 to 36, are red. So we say, okay, there's 36 numbers total. So we take 36, we divide this in half, and we get 18. So that means that there's 18 ways to get red, but there are 38 spots total. So if we have 38 minus 18, we're going to get the remaining spot. So there's 20 spots remaining. These are all the spots that are not red. And so if we do our expected value, right, we're going to find what it is. So the expected value of red... What is that equal to? Now, you would just multiply these and you would get your answer. So it'd be one times 18 over 38 and then plus one time the, so it's this one and one times anything is itself. So I didn't write the one. And then we have plus these two multiplied. Well, these two multiplied is gonna be negative 20 over 38. Negative 20 over 38. And we're gonna get out our answer. So let's see here. We have 18 over 38, that's equal to that number, minus, and then put parentheses here, just to avoid any possible order of op problems, order of operations, minus 20 over 38, and we get out our final answer. So we find 
that the expected probability is negative 0 0.053, approximately. So that is A. Let's go ahead, let's do B. We'll follow the same pattern. So we'll make ourselves a chart. And we've got X, probability of X. And this one says even. So we look up, it says odd or even. So if it's, uh, so either one of these, the payoffs of a dollar. So we say, okay, well, how many numbers are there? And let's look at this. And there's two numbers here that are a bit suspicious, zero and double zero. Zero is neither odd or even. It's neither one. So we do not include these. I kind of wish that in the problem statement, it sort of specified this, but uh, yeah, zero, double zero, not odd or even. So for the even numbers, that means again, we have half of the 38 numbers from one to 36 will be odd or even. And if half of them are odd or even, well, it's the same thing as the red because right, half of those were red. So that's 18 over 38. 18 over 38 for it being even. So if it's even, we get a payoff of a dollar. And if it's uh, not even, well, then we lose our dollar. And there are 20 spots remaining out of the 38. So you see it's the exact same thing as the previous one. So it's negative 0 0.053 because it's the exact same table. So let's go on. Let's move on to C. Again, we'll make our, our table. So we'll go ahead. We'll draw one of these doodads we'll put an x and a probability of x and this one says c that's not infinity that is double zero so you know what if we get a double zero so if we get a double zero right that'll be our first spot so the, the event will be double zero so double zero has got a specific listing for double zero that is 35 bucks so we win 35 dollars if we get double zero now What's the probability of getting a double zero? Well, there's 38 spots. One of those spots is a double zero. So this one looks different. So that's that's good. At least it's not the exact same table. And then we're going to go, okay, well, 35 bucks. Now, if we lose, we lose our dollar, right? So we minus a dollar because we didn't, we didn't win. So our dollar is gone, though. So there's 37 spots that are not the double zero. So there's a 38... Uh, 37 out of 38 ways for us to lose, right? If we land on any other spot, we lose. So we're going to go ahead, we'll multiply these. So this is equal to 35 times 1 over 38 minus 1 times 37 over 38. What is this going to be? So we type 35 times 1 divided by 38 minus 1 times 37 divided by 38. And we get out the exact same thing. So you might start to notice a trend here. All the answers are coming out to the same. Is this by design? Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna write down our answer. All right, let's go to D. Well, any single number, well, look at this. Any single number, well, z double zero is a single number and the payoff is exactly the same as these so all of these would have the same probability if you were just betting on those right because the table would match this would be the same so this would equal the exact same thing of negative 0 0.053 and let's go ahead let's go to e zero or double zero okay zero or double zero this one looks different maybe we'll finally get the one that's different let's see x probability of x zero double zero has a payoff of 17 smackers. So we're gonna do, okay, well, if we get it, we make 17 bucks. And zero, double zero, that's two spots. So there's two out of 38 ways to do this. And if we then go to the next one, well, we lose a dollar if we, if we don't do it. And since we use two spots for the winning, that means that the other 36 spots have to be losing spots. So this is gonna be equal to 17 times two over 38. That is a three. I know it doesn't look like a three. And then we're going to do minus a dollar times 36 over 38. Let's see what this expected value is. So we're gonna do 17 times two divided by 38 minus one times 36. The minus, we could really just type minus and then do the division. Uh, 36 divided by 38. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get the same thing. <laughs> Negative approximately 0 0.053.
So this is how you would do, well, let me zoom in more here. It looks different on my screen. This is how you do these kinds of questions. So you can see this has been sort of set up to produce the same answer every time. And if you ever go and uh, bet on a roulette wheel, now you'll know a little bit more about how it works. And also take note that all of these are negative. So don't play for too long because you will start to lose money eventually. It is guaranteed to happen as you go along. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And we'll catch you in the next problem.